Welcome to the Buddha Brunch. I am Ned Kelly. Uh, Buddha Brunch is a chance to talk about spirituality, creativity, uh, and positivity, and all sorts of stuff with all sorts of fun, cool people. Some are teachers, some are authors, uh, some are, are leaders, and some are filmmakers. I have today with me Lolo Lauren, and hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Patrick Poe of IX Film Productions. That's the letter I, the letter X, as in the Roman numeral IX. Uh, film Productions. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Oh, yeah. Thank Definitely. You. Thank you for having Glad us. Glad to be here. Yeah. Well, why don't we start off talking about IX Film Productions, uh, what that company is, what it is that you do, uh, the goals of your, of your projects, and, and that sort of thing. Should I talk this? Sure. Um, YX? Yeah. Cool. I mean, we are a independent comedy film label um, because we believe in the importance of positivity and comedy in the media. Um, so we make exclusively comedy films. That doesn't mean we don't do things that have like darker plots or tragedy in them. We just believe that ultimately to always have that end be up. And I like comedy. Comedy is good stuff. I love yeah. laughter. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you if you watch our stuff, even even our early works where we hadn't, uh, I guess, really fully realized, fully concreted that idea of what IX did, um, they both deal with a lot of darker subjects. But we wanted to make sure that they had a message or a positive message that that came out of it. So even like Mr. Lee, which ends on a somber note. Um, has that idea, and hopefully you take away a positive message from it, even though you saw negative uh, things in the film. I thought it was pretty funny. Actually. Good, Thank good. You. So the goal is, is positivity through comedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Overall. Definitely. Tell me. Um, more. The go yeah, the goal is positivity through comedy. Um, Ix as a as a name um, is confusing because people see it and they think it's Roman numerals for nine, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, nine. 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 Um, but it's not. It's IX. Um, it was created, coined, brainchild by Lolo. Um, and what it actually stands for is the International Exchange. Um, and so it's the idea that our films are positive and humorous and world-reaching. Um, though right now in our small town in Kansas City, we don't reach the world yet. It's obviously a long-term goal. It's a long-term yeah, goal great. to be able to positively show all forms of culture, race, c people, color, creed um, through our films and show them in a positive light because I feel like, uh, and Lola agrees, that a lot of our view of the world is given to us through our media mm -hmm. and so we want to give the world a more positive view than it currently has of all aspects of the world. So I guess all of it really comes down to, yeah, wanting to have that kind of, like you were talking about, that realism in the comedy of yeah. just, yeah. like, real people, real life. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And you're doing it through independent avenues, mm -hmm. which is the, that's where we're headed. You know, mainstream media, people don't watch television on television anymore. No. Less and less people go to the movie theater to, to watch a, a movie. Um, and more and more, it's through a web series or yeah. through a YouTube channel or anything. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we're we're trying as much as we can to just get our stuff out there and it's it's a wonderful time that we live in where anyone can grab a camera, anyone can grab uh, a couple friends and you can make a movie. Um, it doesn't take a lot, like honestly, yeah. it, it takes nothing to make a movie. Anyone can do it, um, which is awesome. And there are beautiful venues like YouTube, like Patreon, like Vimeo, which we don't really do at all, but it's out there. <laughs> it's, um, there yeah. it's there. You can use it. You can upload your stuff, and then people can see it, and they can enjoy it, or they can hate it, and they can tell you right there. Yeah. Um, so it's a really cool place that we live where, yeah, we do get to show our art easily to yeah. the world. I know some people have talked about it as a negative, about how like the market is flooded with content nowadays, because anyone can do mm -hmm. it and I know I've known some people who think that's a negative thing that there's so much content and that people you know who don't know what they're doing can do it but I think it's incredible that people have such easy access to this art form now of filmmaking one I'm, I'm enjoying right now group yeah group I absolutely love group um, 
freaking hilarious. Yeah, I love it. yeah, I go watch it. it. It's, that was uh, definitely very written, much just real life. Written by <laughs> us, directed by me. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's just showing the humors of not knowing what to do with yourself in life, which I think a lot of people definitely feel. The casting is great. Um, the lead characters. Tell me about uh, Dan or Daniel. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> the. The creation of group um, was really something that was in my mind because I know a lot of really talented people and I wanted to figure out a way to showcase their talents. Ah. Something with a good um, ensemble So I cast. wanted a good large ensemble cast that I could then really show like how interesting all these actors that I know are. Mm -hmm. um, and then, in a weird kind of selfish way, uh, I didn't want to be the, like, male character that I always write myself, because I always write me as the, like, nerdy, uh -huh. insecure, like, lost little boy that Danny really is. Um, and so I started writing Danny kind of as, like, a weird, <laughs> even more nervous version of myself. Um, and then I cast the amazing Sam Toddy in the role. And he just created it into an even more interesting Which character really I could ever imagine. Which is really a new role for him too, because he does a lot of period work. He's um, the lead in his Sherlock Holmes series. Um, he was kind of a vaguely villainous, not really, but kind of snarky character in his period was, spy film. Yeah, he was a British um, spy. And, and like, so it's it's a very new role for him to play too, and I think he's been absolutely fantastic yeah, at he's it. Perfect. He's yeah. perfect. Yeah, he's, he's like always the arrogant, like leading man, and so it was great to see him <laughs> kind of like take off that arrogance and just show his like raw insecurity in Danny. So not arrogant, so likable. Yeah. And, yeah. and then Skye, I adore her. She's so <laughs> so vulnerable, but so, you know, powerful underneath that and believes in herself. Uh, yeah. I think the writing of Skye, a lot of it comes from you, honestly. Yeah. Like, she, she reminds me a lot of you. It's like if we took... Was... Yeah. If we took you and your mother, who and does us. similar, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which was funny too, though, because yeah, I I had a lot of influence on the writing of Sky, but then when we gave it to Laura Burt, who plays the role, she was like, "When have you been spying on me? Uh -huh. This is exactly my life and how I feel." Group is a web series we have about a woman, Sky, who starts doesn't know what to do with her own life, um, really her own life, and as the series continues you will see is kind of falling apart. And all she knows how to do, all she can do really, is she decides to help other people, basically. She can't take care of herself, she wants to help other people, um, but she has no real specialized or specific idea of how to do that. So she starts just a support group for people who don't have a support group, is what it is, which draws a whole crowd of different crazy people that you'll get to know more as the series goes on, who are all just looking for some way to connect, some place where they don't feel like an outsider. Great. Yeah. And my favorite line, do you want to hear what is my... I sure. Think, <laughs> I would love the, to. The most, yeah. most in, endearing part in the episode one, uh, so she's just revealed to, she just kind of came upon this idea to start a group for people who don't have a group. And Dan is kind of saying, well, what about the practicality of it? <laughs> <laughs> gotta eat and put, you know, make some money. And she, and she she says, um, it's the only thing I'm good at. You know that, Daniel. It, <laughs> it hasn't even been established that she's, she hasn't even done she's it. She's never done it, yeah. <laughs> as much as I want uh, to see what's going to happen on Walking Dead, um, I want to know what happens to these people in the group already. Thank oh, you. thank yeah. you so, thank much. You so much. So find that on YouTube. Find it on Patreon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Patreon.com slash... IX Film Productions. IX Film Productions. Yeah. Um, which brings us to how to support art, how to support your artists, and how to make a living as a working artist. So what Patreon is, is it's a crowdfunding service similar to like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but instead of um, funding one project. one project, one big film. It's about continually supporting it's an artist that you enjoy um, so they can continue making art. Yeah, it's more like so, subscribing to their work. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, a, good it's, it's a good way to subscribe yeah. to their work. So if you if you like group, if you like uh, the Twitter web series that we're in pre-production for, um, once they come out... They're going to be uh, Yeah, they're yeah. going to be awesome. Um, you 
pledge a monthly donation to that artist so that that way you can with either one, like three, five dollars, like whatever little bit you can give, you just pledge that small amount and monthly you give that small amount to the artist and that little bit does help. And it is a nice thing because you can post things privately just to your patrons oh, yeah. as well yeah. and so we do do special things for our patrons versus for people who watch us on YouTube because for example we have a blooper reel from group up only for our patrons. Yeah, episode um, one bloopers. And we're planning to do there. more of that to release our behind the scenes content um, exclusively on Patreon. Also, right now there is an exclusive sneak peek to our next feature film. There is. Stream there is. There is. There is. It's not up anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. Very yeah. yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, think back a couple of centuries, or not even that far. How did artists live? You know, they had a patron. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. gave them food and, and shelter and, and said, hey, I, I, I want to invest in you as an artist, so you don't have to worry about money, just go and create. Yeah. Which is pretty much still how it is today, just in a weirder way, even as you get into bigger budget film, you still have people producing those you films. Still have They're willing to put their time. money forward for artists to do their work, so it really hasn't changed much. That, yeah. that aspect of it, and now though with the crowdfunding aspect, uh, we're looking for more, you know, it's people can select. Oh, I want to throw a couple of dollars here. I like that. I want to throw a couple of dollars here. I like that. Yeah, it allows the the masses to really select what's made instead of just like a handful of backers in Hollywood. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us more about the the struggles, the challenges, the excitement of being a, a working artist. <laughs> um, I was just <laughs> funny thing about that. I was just telling Lolo yesterday um, because it it is hard being a working artist because. You, you don't know uh, when, where, or how, really, um, the money's always coming in. Um, it's very unpredictable. In yeah, <laughs> we, we often live on that like trust factor, like, oh, how are we going to pay these bills? Mm, we'll trust, something will come up, and someone will do a job, and someone will get some sort of money. Yeah. And it'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, but I was telling her the other day that uh, if I were to get a different job, I would almost want to be a server, just because I would want those tips, because I like the unpredictability of wow. my gotten income. Used to it. I've gotten used to like not knowing how much I'm gonna make, and now I like that. Like <laughs> just being like, oh well, like next month I'm gonna need this money. It'll, it'll show up. Yeah, it'll be cool. You do have to have, I think, a certain level of belief in yourself and a certain level of trust that it's it's gonna come oh, from God, somewhere. Oh God, yeah. You've got to really you let go, to. Um, and let go of like the the trivial like physical needs, mm -hmm. I feel like, to really dedicate yourself to your art. Um, like food. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, like food. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. No, it is, Rent. though. It is. You have to, I think, really <laughs> want it, and it has to really be your focus, because I know the only thing we spend money on anymore is, yeah, not stuff like food. It's, it goes into our films. Like, every penny goes into making our films and feeding and taking care of our crew and our actors as best we can. And right now, yeah. your, your, your actors are, are doing it without pay, for the most part. Yes, they do. You try Entirely. To support them as much as you can. With if, if we have long days, we try to feed and water them. But at this point, we are, yeah, we're pretty small budget. They, so that's they all we do, do it for the love of their work yeah. as well. Right. Um, yeah, we've because... been very lucky. We have a great group of, a great support group of incredibly talented people here in Kansas City um, that have been willing, yeah to be in the films um, for no pay and to really, it's, I've joked before that I feel like our films are a little bit more like, like community theater, uh -huh. yeah. which is very much that group effort that we're more like making community films. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's that great. we have a team more than anything. But, and it's recorded so that, you know, it can be shared with It can with be shared with everyone. Yeah. 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 Live on forever. Super. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think we're, uh, nearing the uh, close of our time together. Uh, any closing thoughts, any uh, final, any advice, or what else is on your heartstrings today? Advice, I mean, like, if you, if you want to do it, like, go do it, because, like, it is, I mean, it's not easy, but making a movie is easy, anyone can do it, like, if you have a camera, if you have, if you have your iPhone, like, go make a movie, because um, it's, it's out there, and if you need support, if you need help, like, there's the IFC of Kansas City, you can rent great equipment from them. Um, they'll help you make a movie. If you come to us, we'll probably help you make a movie if it's positive. Um, <laughs> if it's the thing that feeds your soul, go do it. Because, mm. like, that's really all you should focus on. Um, and if it's the thing that is going to feed your soul, like, just just do that. Um, throw yourself into that. Um, the reason I quit my job a year ago is because I was reading a Nick Offerman interview 
where he said, if you're uh, focusing on your plan B, why not make it your plan A? Wow. Um, nice. And I was working a job, and my focus was my job, and I realized, but that was only my plan B. Like, that was how I made my money, but it wasn't how I wanted to make my money. So I had to quit, and I had to make my plan A my plan A. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I think my only advice to add to that is that, yeah, you want to also, like, never get discouraged, because they talk about, you know, that 10,000 hours. And that, like, we've, we're on our fifth feature film? Intermission, Mr. Lee, She Lives Me, Shows Me Not, Zoink, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, yeah we're on our fifth feature film, and we're <laughs> still, I mean, learning and perfecting things. and. Yeah, every film is hard. It takes hard. so much. Yeah, every film is, like, still hard, still a struggle, um, but so worth And we it. learn each time, though. Um, each film we've learned. It's so from. worth the struggle, yeah, like you said. If it is the thing that feeds your soul, don't ever give it up. Yeah. Excellent. Well, great. I want to thank you both. Patrick Poe, Lolo Lauren, IX Film Productions. Where can they find your stuff? Facebook, YouTube, give us anything. You yeah. Uh, well, if you go to the website, it has links to all of our social yeah, media. Yeah, if you go right to uh, www.ixfilmproductions.com, you mm -hmm. can find all of our beautiful mm -hmm. links. That'll be in the description um, as well. But uh, the, I think the, the most successful thing that we found is people liking us on Facebook. Um, so go like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash ixfilmproductions. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to us on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash ixfp. And uh, if you really like our work, please go to patreon.com slash ixfilmproductions and uh, become a patron and help support uh, two wonderful Kansas City artists. <laughs> it's easy. It's fun. It's yeah. really, it's new, so it's weird for people. What is this Patreon stuff? But it's, it's really, really simple to do. You can start it. You can pledge any amount. Uh, you can stop it at any time. You're not locked into yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. It's super. It's it's super easy. It's super fun. I think. Yeah. Well, great. Uh, so coming up, uh, Midsummer's Night. Yeah, coming up, we've got. Uh, right now, we are in post production for Zoink, which, which is, is children's our children's comedy. comedy. Cool. Um, children's sci fi comedy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's awesome. We're editing it right now. Uh, we are in pre. No, we're in production of Midsummer Night's Dream. So we're filming it right now. We're out in the woods getting. Dirty, muddy, and rainy recently, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's been beautiful. The footage looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in pre production for our sixth feature film. Um, can I throw out the title? Yeah. Cool. Sure. It's going to be titled Brothers. It's going to be written by me, and that's about all we know of it right now. But it's going to be really awesome. Excellent. Um, and we are in pre production for two more web series. Mm -hmm. Cool. In addition, um, in addition group. to group. Continuing uh, group. And Watch group, it out. yeah, fantastic. group will keep going, so that's awesome. Thank you again, um, IX Film Productions. If you've enjoyed this, like me on Facebook, Buddha Brunch, uh, and like and subscribe on YouTube that you're watching now, and consider going to patreon.com slash Kelly as well. Do oh, it. Yeah. Do it. Thanks, guys, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ned. It's been a pleasure. It's been great. Oh, everybody Bye. with the hands. Oh, yeah, with the hands again.